Hi everyone, it's Samantha here from DC Metro Maternity. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to time your contractions. So let's say that you think that you're in labor. This is great. Yay. It's the big day that we've all been waiting for. And maybe you are starting to feel some surges or pains or contractions, whatever you're calling them. And you just want to know if you're in active labor yet. Um, so what's important when we think about active labor is this, um, little set of numbers that your OB or your midwife or your doulas want you to remember called five, one, one. So that means that your contractions are coming five minutes apart, lasting for at least a minute for the course of an hour. Um, what the five minutes apart means is that the surges that your body is feeling are coming often enough to really start to open up your body and move your baby down. Um, lasting for at least a minute has to do with the intensity of them and um, all of this continuing for an hour means that this is a real pattern that your body has gotten into. So now that we're talking about the contractions being five minutes apart, I want to make sure that you know how to time your contractions. Um, a lot of people make the mistake of a contraction ending and they tell their partner, okay, it's over. And the partner looks at their watch um, and says, okay, tell me when the next one starts. And they think that that time in between contractions is the five minutes. That's not the case. When we're timing contractions, we want to start from the beginning of one contraction to the beginning of the next contraction. So if I feel some pain and my uterus is squeezing my baby and something is happening, that's great. That's when we start the clock, when I first feel that pain. And then in order to get to five minutes, we're talking about when another whole contraction starts over. This is important because if you're only timing the time in between contractions, then it's going to be a very different number when you call your doctor or your midwife or your doula um, or your mama, whoever you're calling to tell them, Hey, I think the baby's coming. So remember five minutes apart lasting for at least a minute. Each contraction is lasting at least a minute. And this continues for an hour, five, one, one. And that five minutes is from the start of one contraction, the start of the next contraction. Um, feel free to check out our blog at DC Metro Maternity for more information on labor and postpartum um, and all the things that you need to know about having a baby. Thanks. Bye.